Hello dear people outside of the German country. Normally I do my videos in German, but today I will do some videos in English because some people ask me to do that because they don't really understand German and um, yeah. I am not that good in English, but I will try to make this as good as I can. And um, today we have a website call, uh, called SickAint. And we are going to take a look at this site. First of all, what exactly is SIGAINT? You can read the text here. What is SIGAINT? SIGAINT is a darknet email service that allows you to send and receive emails without revealing your location or identity. We provide this service to help journalists and activists combat the dragnet surveillance that exists on the internet today. Even if you aren't in conflict with the state or anyone in particular, you, as a human being, deserve privacy. privacy. Am, I really, am I really too dumb to say it that way? Why should you trust us? You don't have to trust us. In fact, we recommend you don't. When you send email using our web portal, we recommend you encrypt your message using PGP. And um, this PGP we are going to see in this video as well. And I hope I can explain everything good in English because I normally don't do English videos, but I really would like to do so. And um, yeah, what do we have here? We have a navigation on the top of the site, home, login, sign up, FHQs, upgrade and contact us. First of all, we need to sign up for this little site. So we click on sign up and we are coming to this site. There we're putting our username in. Like for example, Kitsune Darknet Channel. And then we need to type in our password that we would like to use. In my opinion, I will use a very simple one. Uh, wait a second, that's not a good idea. So, I hope this will work as well. Then we have a little capture that we have to type in the correct way. So I will copy that, sign up. Uh, uh, okay, our username is far too long, so... Hmm, nice idea. Too long. And then confirm the password. As you can see, the website has some rules how your password and username has to look like. Correct. The password must be between 8 and... Oh, I hate it if something like that happens. So I will use another password. Sometimes uh, something that, like that might happen because some sites actually say what your password has to look like. I don't really like that, but uh, why not? Success! User too long has been added. Click here to log in. Click on that. And then you will get to this page. Now you're inserting that. Then the password you choose in the last page. Well, so. And then the capture code. Then K2. Is that a C? I hope so. And that. And then login. And if everything worked fine, nothing will happen. <laughs> okay. That's kind of bizarre. In a normal case, it would give you something like a message. That's pretty interesting. We are going to try again. I think the capture code was wrong. But captures are sometimes hard to read because some of the captures might be something like Egyptian symbols for some people. Ah, now we are in. That's the main sign of SIGAINT. Now you see it's a simple web program and um, here we have a sign out. Then we have compose, addresses, folders, options, search help, blah, 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 read, unread, delete and so on. We would like to compose a message. And there we have a little thing. 
two, that's very obvious, uh, to who we want to send the message, the CC, BCC, subject and the message itself, and at the very last, another capture code. And we can even attach some files to our emails. That's something that I, that I really like. And um, the person who asked me to do this video also asked me to explain PGP and how to use PGP. And I think we are going to see that now. I will do some sep separate videos for me, but I will merge them together, together for you guys so that you had only to have watch one video. But I will make two videos out of that for myself. I hope you understand what I mean. And um, yeah. Now we will come to the interesting part of this video. We will download GPG for USB. Just click on this link here and then it shall save that it then it shall say that it wants to download. We are going to download this and um, yeah this shouldn't take much time. And when it's finished, then we shall have a little zip archive. In our case this one. I have two because it is still downloading and um, when it's finished we will have only one in a few seconds I hope. Come on you can do it I believe in you. So now we're going to extract this I use 7-zip to extract it and then we have this two we only need this one not this because this is just the archive we can pull it away and then we will start gpg for usb start windows now we have this little wizard here we will choose here the english language because we are english people then next uh, next nope nope next what we're going to do now is finding out our very personal key for that we're going clicking on Manage keys, key and generate key. Now we're giving it some cool name like zero cool or something. Then email address. We don't need that because fuck it. You punk dot now. Then comment no comments biatch, and never expire. This is okay. And now our password. I recommend to use a strong password because. Um, you don't want to. You want it. You don't want it to become cracked. I don't. I can't speak today. I already see that. So okay. Now it's uh, generating the key. We have to wait for this to finish, because otherwise, um, yeah. All right. Now we have the key and can export to clipboards. Well, if we check it. So. Now we have the key. Um. That's not the key, and don't worry, I will put the key at the end of this file. So, this is now our public key. We will need it later eventually. So, um, here is an another key that I will co uh, copy. This is the key of my um, partner. So, if you're going to communicate via PGP, you will have to get a key of a partner a public key block and you will need this entire block so if you have it in your clipboard so right click and copy then you can go in this program and say import from clipboard and normally case it should say here something like that and then ok but what we now want to do is um, generating a PGP message so we are going to close this and write something like Hello, how are you? And now we are going to encrypt this message. So we are going to highlight it. I don't know if it's necessary, but it looks better. And then we are going to check our own name and our opponent, uh, our partner's name. And then we click on encrypt. And now we have this little PGP message. And that's basically all. You can now send this message right around the world. And yeah. That's basically everything that you need to know about PGP. Just put this message in your sick and um, message and just send it to your partner and everything should be fine. If you have any questions left, just let me know. I will help you as good as I can. 
See you next time.